Hello, welcome to Wayfaring Knitter. I'm Sophia and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to talk to you about brioche stitch, which is also called fisherman's rib. I'm working on a little scarf um, right now. And as you can see, it looks like a rib. It's stretchy, um, it's fully reversible. And the fabric that this creates is kind of squishy. It's very plush and warm because these slip stitches sort of trap air in between the knit stitches. Um, here's a hat that I did a while ago. And I made this just so that I could try out brioche stitch and it's reversible as you can see. Um, so I am going to show you how to do that. Okay, so this yarn that I'm working with is really gorgeous. It's 70% um, alpaca, 20% silk, and 10% cashmere. Um, the dyer who made this was one of those small indie companies, and she went out of business, I don't know how long ago. It's really beautiful, though. I wish I could get more of it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to do brioche stitch. This pattern I'm working on is called the Shimo Scarf, and I will link to that in the description box. Um, it has me start off with slipping the first and then doing a make one left at every other edge. So there's that. And then we're going to start brioche, which is yarn over, slip one purl wise and then knit two together. And you can see that these two stitches are really close together already. That's the slip stitch from the previous row and the yarn over. And they kind of hang out together so you know you knit them together. And then yarn over, slip that one, and knit those two together. So as you can see, the stitches that I'm slipping, they sort of create these, like almost, they look like tunnels almost. And that's what traps air and this fabric is so thick. I wish you could feel this yarn, it's really beautiful. Um, but that's gonna be a very soft, warm scarf for whoever has this. Um, the first row of brioche is a setup row and that involves um, some purl stitches and other things. But I just wanted to show you how to work a regular brioche row. It's really very easy. It gets a little more complicated when you get into two colors and increases and decreases. And I've even seen very intricate patterns that involve cables. They're very beautiful. Um, maybe one of those, one of these days I'll work on one of those and show you how that goes too. So that is brioche stitch. Thanks so much for joining me and learning about brioche stitch. I think next time I'll have this project done and we will talk about something different. But please let me know what you're working on in the comments, what patterns and yarn have caught your eye, what you're cooking in the kitchen. I'd love to get to know you better. So please like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. Take care and knit on.